Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7 and Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some really exciting news. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we just got official confirmation, and it's time to freak out, that the CW is doing a final crossover between Supergirl and The Flash. Now, this is very exciting because we've been theorizing about this, fans have been speculating online, including myself. And so just like half an hour ago or so, the CW came out and they confirmed that yes, Grant Gustin is going to be crossing over with Melissa Benoist for one last crossover. Obviously, that doesn't have to be the end of it. Obviously, Melissa can come back as Supergirl sometime in the future. But this is for now the last time officially. I guess you could compare that to Oliver going away and, you know, maybe we'll see Stephen back someday in a cameo, but we haven't seen him yet, and I guess the same applies to Diggle, and Diggle is actually coming back. So, along with this press release, they actually didn't reveal the episode, but they did state it's going to be happening sometime towards the end of the season, so I'm presuming it's going to be like a few episodes, at least three to four episodes before the series finale of Supergirl, because they're going to want to wrap up their story and, like, the show as a whole, because they have so many characters on the show, you know, you gotta wrap up Supergirl, where is Supergirl gonna go? Melissa has been teasing that recently. You can check out my recent videos that I've done on that because I talked about Melissa's recent interview with EW. And then they have to wrap up the Alex storylines, like what is gonna happen with Alex? Where is she gonna go when Supergirl ends? Is she going to finally adopt a kid? Is that gonna be how they end Alex's story? They have to answer that. And then you have all of the other characters and what are they going to do in the future and are any of them going to come back? Are they going to set anything up? And with characters like Nia, I think they did actually set something up in episode 1 of this season where Brainy gave her the Legion Ring and she was mistakenly referred to as Dream Girl. So are they teasing that she is going to become a Legion of Superheroes member maybe by the end of the season? I think that is definitely a possibility. So this exciting news that The Flash and Supergirl are going to be finally crossing over for the last time. I mean, it's been a very long time since they did a strict Flash and Supergirl crossover. The last time they actually did that was the musical crossover in The Flash Season 3 and Supergirl Season 2. So it's been a very long time and fans have been asking for it, so you guys are going to be really happy. Obviously, they do the big crossovers, and that isn't happening this year due to the current circumstances out in the world. A lot of actors are stuck in America, or they're all stuck in Vancouver, but they're in their little bubbles on the different sets, so it's really hard for them to actually cross over if it isn't just like one individual person. That's why David Ramsey can come on to say all of the different shows, because he's literally just one person, and he's not risking an entire crew. So... It's great that Barry is coming back in the final season of Supergirl and he's going to say one last goodbye to Kara. But there are a range of other characters that people are really hoping to see in the final season. Among those, Superman is one of the biggest ones. Obviously, Superman and Lois is currently on right now. They are on a break. However, Superman was introduced on Supergirl and so it would make sense if he showed up at some point. And again, Tyler is in Vancouver, so it's not going to be that hard. However, they're going to probably have to wait and it would be definitely towards the end of the season if they decide to bring Tyler in as Superman one last time. They might have to wait until Superman Lois finishes shooting for this season to bring in Tyler to the Supergirl set. Because at that point all he would be risking is himself and I guess the people in his bubble but he wouldn't be affecting those hundreds of people on the Superman Lois set. But yeah it would be great to see Superman show up. Another big character we are expecting at some point is Monel. Chris is in Vancouver and he is part of Melissa's household. He is an individual. So that is very likely to happen and it would make sense in terms of wrapping up storylines because that is a big thing that Supergirl is going to be dealing with at the end of this season. Because he would come back, he would finish his arc with Kara and as people have been speculating, they think the way that Supergirl is probably going to end is with Kara going off, joining the Legion reuniting with Monel in the future so it's likely that Monel might show up in the finale to be there when Kara says goodbye and we say goodbye to Kara as an audience. And so other big characters you've got Cat Grant, Callista isn't showing up, the showrunners did confirm that the other day. However, a young version of Cat Grant is showing up, so they cast a young version. She's going to be played by Eliza Helm, and will show up in the two-part episode in episode 6 and 7. Episode 7 is actually directed by Kyla Lee herself, aka Alex Danvers on the TV show. So that's super exciting. So we're going to get an iteration of Cat Grant, although we're not going to get Callista back, because 
Callista isn't going to be able to travel due to the virus and obviously she lives in America and she wasn't even that willing to go over before and shoot extra stuff and that's like half the reason why she left the show in the first place because she didn't want to be in Vancouver and with this she would have to quarantine two weeks then shoot for like however little amount she's going to shoot for then quarantine two weeks going back so it's really not worth it and so I wouldn't get your hopes up for Cat Grant unfortunately because she is a great character and I really like Callista and definitely that would be a welcomed return. Okay, so Wynn. Wynn would be a great character to come back because we've been expecting him at some point, but I don't know how likely it is. Obviously, Jeremy is in America right now, so he's going to have to figure out travel, but maybe what they do is they wait until the finale because they're shooting all the way till August, so maybe by then it's going to be a bit better and it's going to be a bit easier to travel. And the final character is Maggie Sawyer, that would be for Alex to say one last goodbye. But those are the main characters I would say should show up in Supergirl's final season, although it's very unlikely we're going to get like even half of them. So let's get back to The Flash and Supergirl. So we've actually got our first look at The Flash and Supergirl crossover that is happening this season, so that being season 6 of Supergirl and season 7 of The Flash, as they were just shooting on the set a few days back in Vancouver when this was taken. Maybe you've seen it around online. This is our first look at Grant and Melissa on set as Supergirl and The Flash. What do you guys think about that? Are you excited? But in all seriousness, I really hope we get to see the duo back on screen together for one last time. So obviously this was an April Fool's video, but I actually mean it. Yes, we haven't had a first look and we haven't seen Supergirl and The Flash back on set. We haven't seen Grant and Melissa back together, but I really mean it that it would be a huge, huge shame if they don't capitalize on having Melissa in Vancouver where after Supergirl ends, she's probably going to go away and live, say, in LA and start her adventures into the producing side of the film industry and the television industry because she has that deal with Warner Brothers now. So I really hope they capitalize on that and this is a way that it could potentially happen. Hear me out. And I'm talking seriously now because the April Fool's part of the video is out of the way and we're just going to conclude this by saying a possibility, this is just a theory, that they could film this goodbye scene together, you know, like one last cameo for The Flash on Supergirl, in one of two ways. So number one, The Flash finishes filming for this season, that being season seven in May, so they could film around then. And I also believe between season seven and season eight's filming in the summer, the cast is unlikely to go back to America if they're from America like Grant, because their break is gonna be much shorter. Because the CW wants The Flash to get season eight out and ready by October, so they can have a full premiere like normal. So there's a very high chance that Grant is actually sticking around. So they could do this in May before they finish season seven, or they can do it in the meantime in Grant's break. That way he is more of an individual because he's gonna be on his break. He's just able to come into the Supergirl set and he's not gonna be endangering anyone else apart from the people in his bubble. And so obviously this is all dependent on if the rules are still the same by the time of the summer and when they would want to film a potential goodbye scene. However, option two, Grant returns in July, sometime around then, to film season eight of The Flash. And so I don't know the exact day, but they've said they're gonna try and start filming like much quicker than normal. And it must be noted, and I think this is the most important thing, that Supergirl doesn't finish filming until August. So The Flash will probably be filming season eight by the time Supergirl wraps its final season and they're shooting. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry to prank you, but it is April Fool's, but hopefully this wasn't a complete waste for you guys because I tried to actually incorporate my own thoughts and my own theory towards the end of the video. But hopefully you're having a good day and you've had a laugh here and there. And I hope you enjoyed my terrible graphic, very much so on purpose, and all the other surprises that were in the video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get daily videos on the DC TV shows. Mainly The Flash, Supergirl and Superman Lois currently right now. Obviously Supergirl is back, so we're going to be reviewing it week to week. The Flash is doing a time travel episode next week. So get hyped for that because we're going to be covering it as well. So more videos in the next few days. But for now, catch up on my recent videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.